Hello and welcome to this video and in this video we want to discuss this error message that usually happens on devices here in Packet Tracer. So you might have a device that you want to acquire a, an IP address from DHCP server and then this message appear for you. Let's go to this PC for example here in the desktop tab we have the IP configuration and here in the IP configuration if I go to static and then go to DHCP to force the renewal of the IP address you will see that I got this message DHCP failed a PIPA is being used and usually this is because that something is wrong in your configuration of DHCP server here on the server I'm on the services tab here in the services I am on DHCP and here in the DHCP as you can see there is some type of error in my configuration Pause the video and try to find out what is wrong about uh, this configuration and let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, let's continue. And as you can see, I have the name of the pool, which is correct. It doesn't really matter. The start of the IP address, the subnet mask, everything is correct. For example, for me in here, the only thing that is not correct is the maximum number of users. I have put a zero. That means that the pool actually has zero IP addresses to distribute to clients. It has to be at least one or more than one, depending on your subnet mask, on how many uh, IP addresses are you allowed uh, to distribute. For me, because it's zero, this is not correct, and that's why uh, I was getting that failed message. Let's go and change that, maybe make this as 10, and we are going to save this. Let's close this, let's go to the PC, here in the IP configuration, let's force the DCP request once again, and as you can see, I have got a correct IP address this time. Now in this part of the video I have another scenario and that scenario is that we have the PC on one network which is this network the 10.0.0.0/24 and I have the server on another network which is 192.168.1.0/24 So basically because the server and the PC they are on different networks it's important that we would that we have a connectivity between the PC and the server. Now, now I have now I have also given the I now I have also noted uh, the IP addresses of these two interfaces of this router so that be it become easy for you to configure some of the aspects of this network. Now to have and to test our connectivity between the PC and the server let's go and do something let's go to the PC and in here in the PC in the IP configuration I want to get a DHCP but obviously my DHCP failed so instead of using the DHCP I want to test my connectivity between PC0 and the server so for that reason I will set a static IP for the time being for this PC 10.0.0.2 because we have used the one for this interface of the router we will use the two for this PC and the subnet mask is going to be slash 24 now that we have set a static IP address it's also important to set the default gateway for this PC so that we can reach another network that's beyond this network and that is the default gateway the IP address of this uh, port of the router now let's go and close this window go to command prompt and I will clear this window a little bit now in here I want to ping 192.168.1 dot one
as you can see I, I still can't reach the server let's go to the server and let's go to the IP configuration of the server ouch something is wrong with the IP configuration of the server uh, I had configured it before but I'm not sure why it has lost the configuration the subnet mask is correct we need to also have the default gateway for the server as well especially if you have configured the IP as static so that is very important to configure the default gateway for the server as well now that we have got the IP and the default gateway correct for the server let's go to PC and try again our ping and as you can see we have got the ping and we can reach the server this was the first step of troubleshooting our first step was that whether we can reach the DHCP server or not and for that I also obviously configured router 0 as well which I have not included in this video because your configuration might be different so the configuration of any devices between the PC and the server it depends on you now let's go now that we are reachable to this uh, DHCP server can we still get an IP address from that server As you can see we still cannot get an IP address from that server now the second step of troubleshooting for us to configure the HCP relay on this router because PC 0 is on one network and server 0 is on another network that's why it's important to configure this router with the HCP relay to do that we go here on the router let me clear it a little bit for you we go to the router we go to this interface on the on the interface that is on PC side interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 then we configure the IP address helper helper address and then we provide the address of this server that is 192.168.1.1 and that's it let's enter this command now let's go to the server and you have to make sure that the configuration of the server is for this network not for the 192.168 but rather for the network that the PC is located that is the 10.0.0.0 network and everything is correct about this uh, DHCP server except we also want to configure the default gateway that is important to 10.0.0.1 and that's it let's go to the PC now to the IP configuration and click on DHCP and now as you can see we've got a DHCP and the DHCP request was successful thank you thank you for being with me in this episode and I hope to see you in the coming episodes